Good morning everyone and welcome to our meeting. Today, we will be discussing the unique properties of bentonite and how it can be used to create a strong and reliable material with excellent mixing capabilities. I am sure you will all find this information very useful. Let's get started. Bentonite is a type of clay that originated from volcanic ash during the Cretaceous period, between 65 to 145 million years ago. It is mainly found in the western United States, in large enough quantities to make it widely available. When combined together, its combination of minerals, water and gases give it the unique ability to absorb large amounts of water and expand up to 20 times its volume. This is why it is used in many applications, such as waterproofing, drilling fluids and agriculture. Bentonite mining is a complex process with many potential benefits for both the environment and the economy. It involves excavating layered clay minerals lying within sedimentary rocks, then crushing and grinding them to a consistent size with a grinder. The platelets that make up bentonite can absorb large quantities of water and expand up to 20 times their volume. Mining is typically conducted between 35000-4000 layers, making good mixing essential. After that, the material is broken down into sections before further processing. The end result is a high-quality, multi-purpose material used in a variety of industries, including industrial and medical applications. Due to its porosity, bentonite is frequently used for sealing, binding, and dampening, making it a great choice for many construction projects. Sodium bentonite from Wyoming has remarkable properties. Its layered composition resembles a stack of cards and it can expand up to 20 times its volume when exposed to liquid. One cubic inch of this material is capable of covering an area the size of 66 football fields and consists of 35000-4000 layers. This remarkable material is utilized in a variety of projects and its applications are extensive. The special Venturi pipe and hopper jet designed for mixing utilizes bentonite which is milled into a very fine powder, with particles of around 0.5 microns in size, and injected into the hopper jet. The jet hopper produces a high-velocity fluid which mechanistically separates the platelets for more effective mixing. The Venturi-style mixing hopper allows this process to be carried out in an efficient and cost-effective way. Mining bentonite requires effective mixing as it needs to be able to absorb water and expand up to 20 times its original volume. For this, a good mixing system must be in place. Such a system should be composed of between 35,000 to 40,000 layers to ensure optimal absorption of water. Through this, bentonite can be mined efficiently and effectively. To ensure successful bentonite mining, it is important to ensure good mixing of the materials. Poorly mixed materials can lead to unyielded bentonite, which is a common problem. In this image, an example of unyielded bentonite can be seen on a marsh funnel and on a person's hand. The marsh funnel is used to measure the viscosity of the bentonite mix, while the person's hand is used to inspect it visually. Poorly mixed bentonite can create a weak mix that is unable to yield, resulting in a poor quality product. To yield a quality product with optimal results, the mix must be homogeneous and well blended for a minimum of 3 minutes, with mix time extended when dealing with higher viscosity mixes. Proper utilization of fluids is essential to a successful drilling job. Makeup water makes up 95-99% to of a drilling fluid's volume, so it's essential to be aware of its quality when planning your drilling operations. Poorly sourced makeup water can lead to insufficient fluid properties, resulting in serious repercussions. Therefore, careful consideration of makeup water is a necessity. In many industries, especially mining, bentonite is an essential component. However, if the mixing process is not optimized, issues can arise such as bentonite settling and leaving water on the surface, reducing viscosity of the material. Additionally, pumps may make noise when pumping the slurry, and polymer can become stringy when mixed. Fortunately, there are solutions available to ensure efficient mixing of bentonite. When it comes to bentonite mining, 
If the pH is too low or the hardness is too high, it can cause problems with layering as the material won't be able to separate and disperse correctly. This results in the layers not stacking properly. To address this issue, makeup water is used which has been treated to a specific pH and hardness level, ensuring that the bentonite is consistently between 35,000 to 40,000 layers. Sodium carbonate, Na2CO, added to bentonite in water leads to an increased negative charge on the bentonite particles, resulting in a greater amount of water being absorbed. Moreover, the increased dispersion of the clay platelets enhances dispersion of drill cuttings seen in many fluid-based activities. Therefore, its addition to bentonite in water can be beneficial for projects that use this material with layers covering a range between 35,000 and 40,000. Bentonite has the ability to settle and leave water on the surface at depths of up to 35000-4000 layers. When it comes into contact with calcium found in water, the particles form a mesh-like structure and sink to the bottom. This natural sedimentation process helps keep the material suspended and spread out evenly throughout the water column, making it a great choice for good mixing and settling in water bodies. In order to achieve a consistent, reliable result using bentonite mining, it is important to pay attention to pH levels. If the pH of the water falls within the range of 7, it is considered neutral. For an optimal result, the pH of water should be raised to approximately 9.5 or higher, using soda ash or sodium carbonate. The general recommendation for this process is to use between 1 quarter to 1 half pound per 100 gallons of water. This will help ensure good mixing and consistent results with bentonite mining. Constantly monitoring the water pH levels during the mining process is essential to ensure optimal mixing of bentonite. pH strips are an effective and speedy way to detect changes in the water's acidic or alkaline levels. Any mix with a pH level that exceeds 35,000 to 40,000 layers should be avoided, as this means the bentonite won't be able to expand correctly. Monitoring the pH levels is consequently of paramount importance for a successful bentonite mix. The pH scale measures the acidity or alkalinity of a substance. The scale goes from 0 to 14, with 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most basic. The neutral point is 7, which is where H plus and O are in balance. Below the neutral point, the solution is more acidic, and above the neutral point, the solution is more basic. Increasing the acidity of a solution increases the number of H plus ions, while increasing the alkalinity of a solution increases the number of O ions. The chart on this slide shows the corresponding pH values and H plus concentrations of various substances ranging from household acids, such as lemon juice and vinegar, to household alkalis, such as baking soda and household ammonia. Bentonite is a material composed of platelets that can absorb large quantities of water and expand up to 20 times its volume. Special stresses are given to ensure good mixing with other materials, to yield the desired properties. I am here to discuss the functions of our Hydrol EZ drilling fluid. This substance is composed of 35,000 to 40,000 layers and provides great mixing. HYDRAULEZ drilling fluid cools the bit and lubricates the hole, while controlling sub-surface pressure and fluid loss. Furthermore, it helps to hold the hole open and stabilize it, as well as cleaning the hole and suspending and transporting cuttings. Finally, using Hydrol EZ drilling fluid can reduce the torque associated with sticky soil. HYDRAULEZ is a drilling fluid often used in bentonite mining. It is composed of between 35000-4000 layers of platelets that can expand up to 20 times their initial volume. This helps in mixing and executing difficult drilling activities. Measuring the performance of Hydrol EZ involves analyzing its density, hydrostatic head, sand content, fluid loss, gel strength and viscosity. Mixing it properly is key for successful use of this drilling fluid. Viscosity is the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow, meaning a higher viscosity indicates a thicker fluid with less flow. 
Measuring a fluid's viscosity can be done with a marsh funnel and cup, but a fluid's viscosity cannot be the sole indicator of a fluid's effectiveness in cleaning a hole. Two fluids with the same viscosity could differ significantly in their ability to remove dirt and debris from a hole. To get the job done right, it is essential to know both the viscosity and the cleaning power of a fluid. Bingham plastic fluids are favored for use in drilling fluid applications because of their superior properties in controlling the rheological behavior. This is gauged through parameters such as plastic viscosity, PV, in centipoises, yield point, YP, in pounds per 100 square feet, apparent viscosity, AV, in centipoises, and gel strength. Understanding the components of these drilling fluids enables firms to meet their drilling and blending demands. The marsh funnel and cup is a tool used to measure viscosity, which is the resistance of a liquid to flow. It consists of a funnel with a calibrated stem above a graduated cup, so that the viscosity of the liquid flowing through the stem can be calculated. It should be noted that the results of the test can be impacted by the temperature and the shape and size of the funnel. Using high-quality bentonite can help companies engineer a drilling fluid with a viscosity of 35,000 to 40,000 layers, which is optimal for mixing and flowing of cuttings and for pumping performance. This way, it helps reduce operational costs while allowing for efficient and cost-effective drilling operations. Pumping bentonite between 35000-4000 layers requires an understanding of viscosity for successful pump performance. Pump curves are designed based on sea level conditions with clear water. Viscosity often affects the capacity and power output as exemplified by pumping 40 gallons per minute with a material of 26 viscosity, which likely produces an output of 34 to 36 gallons per minute. The same material at a viscosity of 40 is likely to produce an output of 28 to 30 gallons per minute, while a viscosity of 80 yields an output of 20 to 24 gallons per minute. A clear understanding of these numbers reveals the importance of keeping viscosity within an appropriate range for good pump performance. HYDRAULEZ has an impressive gel strength, which is the capacity to form gels to keep drill cuttings suspended in the borehole. If this is not done, serious problems, such as pressure buildup, fracturing, and stuck pipe can occur. This material has the capability to form gels between 35000-4000 layers with good mixing qualities. Gel strength is a key attribute of the drilling fluid used in bentonite mining operations. To enhance gel strength, two methods can be employed. Adding more hydrol EZ increases viscosity or resistance to flow, while adding a gel strength enhancing polymer to the hydrol EZ slurry further boosts the gel strength. The most effective system for producing a high gel strength and pump able slurry is the combination of hydrol EZ and suspend it. This ensures the layers of the bentonite mine between 35,000 to 40,000 feet have the right consistency and do not become too thin or too thick. Combining bentonite mining layers with various polymers additives, the optimal drilling fluid is achievable between 35,000 and 40,000 layers. HYDRAULEZ produces the highest gel strength with its 10-minute gel and Super Gel X, aiding to seal the hole and contain the cuttings in the borehole. A precise mix is critical for a successful operation ensuring an open hole and no stuck pipe. I'm going to be discussing two products today, Red X and Hydrol EZ, which are both designed for bentonite mining. Red X is made to raise the gel strength of bentonite mining up to 60 viscosity resulting in improved efficiency. It holds layers between 35,000 and 40,000, aiding in mixing processes and creating a unified layer. HYDRAULEZ also aims to enhance bentonite mining's performance, with a gel strength up to 60 viscosity, and also featuring 35,000 to 40,000 layers to ensure better bonding and mixing. Both products are purpose-built to be helpful in bentonite mining. Regarding the 4-minute gel strength and 60 viscosity of two products, Super Gel X has a 4-minute gel strength of 35,000 layers, while Hydrol EZ has a 4-minute gel strength of 40,000 layers. Additionally, both products have the same 60 viscosity. 
This indicates that both products have excellent mixing capabilities and should be suitable for a variety of industrial applications. Today, we'll discuss the 10-minute gel strength at 60 viscosity for two of our best-selling bentonite mining products. Super Gel X and Hydrol EZ Both products are composed of a minimum of 35,000 layers and have the ability to expand up to 20 times its volume when absorbing water, making them perfect materials for mixing water and dense particles. Super Gel X is a special type of bentonite clay that can form a strong gel within 10 minutes when combined with liquid. With a viscosity rating of 60, it's one of the most efficient and effective bentonite products available on the market. HYDRAULEZ is another bentonite clay that's designed to form a strong gel structure. When combined with liquid, it has a maximum 10-minute gel strength of 60 viscosity, ensuring that a powerful mix of water and particles can be achieved quickly and efficiently. Through the combination of these two products, we can create a powerful substance that's easy to mix and easy to use. Together, Super Gel XN. Gel strength is an essential component for satisfactory completion of drilling fluid operations. Viscosity should not show any increase when dealing with HDD-designed drilling fluids. Suspend it, a suitable additive for drilling fluids, is advised for improved performance in coarse sands and gravel. It facilitates excellent mixing of the components of the drilling fluid and keeps its properties at their optimal levels for successful drilling. The ability of bentonite platelets to form a filter cake when slurry is pumped under pressure, is the key to understanding fluid loss. This process creates a barrier between the drilling fluid and the permeable formation. By measuring the amount of drilling fluid lost through this permeable formation, we are able to accurately understand the fluid loss for each borehole. This is essential when drilling for bentonite mining, as it helps to ensure a good mixing of slurry. The addition of fluid loss polymers to Hydrol EZ slurry is an effective way to reduce the amount of fluid going into the formation. The most desirable system is a Hydrol EZ with a super pack or rel pack, as it forms a low solids, pump able slurry. This allows for good mixing to occur while still maintaining the target viscosity required to ensure optimal wellbore stability. This slide focuses on the benefits of using Hydrol EZ drilling fluid in borehole sealing applications. The product is a high-performance bentonite suspension specifically designed for hydraulic fracturing processes such as drilling, tunneling, and vertical and horizontal trenching. The bentonite particles create a filter cake that effectively seals the sidewalls of the borehole and prevents the ingress of soil grains and other foreign debris. The hydrostatic pressure formed by the suspension helps to increase the strength of the bond between the borehole and the filter cake. By using Hydrol EZ, the sealing process is faster, easier and more efficient with fewer risks and higher security. The importance of fine to medium grade sand for water percolation cannot be overstated. A granule size between 35,000 to 40,000 layers ensures that the water is evenly spread out across the sand, with no large gaps or voids. This allows for perfect saturation and the ideal mix of sand and water. The slide emphasizes the significance of having the correct sand for mining. There are two options. Fine to medium sand, which allows for minimal fluid loss and facilitates good mixing during the process. If water or drilling fluid is used, one must pay attention to the fluid loss potential. HYDRAULEZ and RELPAC drilling fluid are suitable options for better mixing and minimal fluid loss, while products with high fluid loss should be avoided for a successful process. In order to ensure borehole stability and minimal fluid loss, a tightly packed, uniform bentonite matrix is necessary. This matrix should contain between 35,000 to 40,000 layers of bentonite to achieve maximum stability. Creating this matrix and ensuring the highest quality of bentonite mining requires precise mixing and compacting of bentonite. Fluid loss control is of great importance when using bentonite. Super Pack and Rel Pack can boost the performance of Hydrol EZ, however a thick filter cake does not guarantee the fluid loss will be kept low. 
Therefore, it is essential to use bentonite with a high capacity of water retention, to provide a snug fit to the subterranean formation and minimize fluid loss. Cellulose polymers are molecules derived from natural sources such as wood, plants and cotton that are used to control fluid loss in difficult holes and offer superior borehole stability. Examples of such cellulose polymers include REL PAC and SUPER PAC, both available in dry and liquid form, that can be added to hydrol EZ systems to provide stability and control fluid loss. These polymers can form up to 35,000 to 40,000 layers when mixed with water, affording excellent mixing possibilities and benefits such as reduced water loss and strengthened borehole walls. Having the right drilling fluid pressure is essential for a stable hole. The filter cake created by the drilling fluid helps maintain the pressure to keep the hole open. This filter cake is composed of polymers that form a bridge network between the particles, similar to the way coffee grounds stay in suspension in a can. CETCO's formulated polymers have the ideal bridging characteristics for this application, enabling them to perform well in the toughest drilling conditions. Boring fluids are a combination of fluids and minerals utilized in drilling for oil and gas. The weight and hydrostatic pressure of the fluids used when drilling can have a huge effect on the outcome of the venture. To guarantee the pressure stays at an ideal level, the mixture should contain between 35000-4000 layers. This helps guarantee the mix is appropriately adjusted and the drilling activity can keep running easily. Slide 40 demonstrates the role Hydrol EZ fluid plays in ensuring borehole stability. A pressure difference between the Hydrol EZ fluid and the lower formation pressure is essential for keeping the hole open for drilling. There needs to be a positive pressure difference, though it doesn't need to be high. This is how Hydrol EZ fluid helps to ensure borehole stability for successful drillings. Loss circulation is a phenomenon that occurs while drilling, referring to the seepage of drilling fluid into the formation. It can happen when drilling through porous media like sandstone, or when drilling through fractured rocks with existing cracks and crevices. It should be differentiated from frac outs, which occur when fluid breaks through the surface. To prevent loss circulation, it is important to understand the risks and take necessary precautions. Drilling in coarse unconsolidated formations, such as sand and gravel, can be difficult due to the partial and gradual loss of return flow. To overcome this challenge, it is necessary to use the appropriate drilling fluid, in particular one with good fluid loss control. HYDRAULEZ pack polymer fluid is an ideal choice for this purpose. For optimal results, Combine this fluid with soda ash and continually monitor the mud properties while adjusting the mud weight accordingly. The slide is about the high solids and high density drilling fluids, which can significantly increase the hydrostatic pressure on formations. To illustrate this, let's take an example of a mud with a weight of 9.0 pounds per gallon, which is used at a depth of 200 feet. The hydrostatic pressure on the formation is calculated by multiplying the mud weight by 0.052, and then by the depth. 9.0 pounds by 0.052 x 200 feet equals 93.6 psi of hydrostatic pressure on the formation. The same calculation with a mud weight of 14 pounds would result in a hydrostatic pressure of 145.6 psi. This can cause drilling losses and is something to consider when drilling for bentonite. Drilling industry confronts the significant challenge of driller-created loss circulation problem. Poor transport of cuttings to the surface may lead to a variety of issues, such as weak gel strength, excessive annular ascending velocity and the lodging of drill cuttings around the drill stem, resulting in blocked return flow, overpressure, and even fracture of the formation. Bentonite can be deployed to address these difficulties, offering a proficient seal against the formation and notable mixing. 
When bentonite is of sufficiently good quality, it will effectually secure the walls of the drill hole and provide the optimal condition for drilling. Additionally, bentonite can be used to amplify the mixing of the drilling fluid, facilitating safe and efficient drilling. Drilling a borehole can be difficult for drillers when managing loss of circulation. Fluid or mud is lost to the subsurface or formation, resulting in costly and time-consuming setbacks. Reactive soils, such as reactive clays, can cause blockages and prevent return flow from the bore, resulting in overpressure in the formation, which can cause further loss of circulation. To prevent this, controlling the hydration of reactive soils with the use of a synthetic polymer can form a protective layer between the formation and the drilling fluid, thereby preserving circulation throughout the borehole. Bentonite drilling fluids are essential for successful and cost-effective drilling operations, and soda ash must be used for mixing and thickening of the fluid. To prevent water loss and loss of circulation, modified natural polymers such as pack polymers must be included, forming a thick filter cake that will not collapse when down old tools are pulled. Correct management of the drilling fluid can prevent swabbing of the hole and loss of circulation, resulting in cost savings and improved performance. A bentonite slurry's yield can greatly differ depending on the kind of bentonite used. Super Gel X High Yield Bentonite for instance produces 200 to 220 barrels of a given viscosity of slurry from 1 ton of clay. Hydrol EZHDD Specialty Bentonite on the other hand produces 165 to 185 barrels of a given viscosity of slurry from 1 ton, and Premium Gel API Grade Bentonite produces only 90 barrels of slurry per ton. To exemplify, a yield of 210 barrels of slurry equates to 8,820 gallons of slurry, 210 barrels by 42 gallons per barrel, 185 barrels yield 7,770 gallons, 185 barrels by 42 gallons per barrel, and 90 barrels 3,780 gallons of slurry, 90 barrels by 42 gallons per barrel. Identifying the soil composition of an area before drilling is essential to ensure successful borehole drilling. Choosing the right type of fluid, bits, and reamers for the job relies on a proper soil analysis. Additionally, planning the volume of the borehole is important to guarantee that the layers of bentonite are between 35,000 and 40,000. Good mixing of fluids and bentonite is paramount for securing the desired results and can help save time and money over the duration of the project. To ensure a successful project in bentonite mining, there needs to be an effective plan in place. Factors such as the available time and resources, job site layout, manpower, equipment and product needs, water source, and disposal options should be taken into account. By accounting for all these elements, it will ensure maximum efficiency in a successful project. Setco Online Calculation Guides provide a library of information pertinent to bentonite mining. It includes interactive calculators that allow users to accurately determine the amount of material they will need for their projects. The library also contains between 35,000 and 40,000 layers which help with good mixing and adequate coverage. It is an ideal resource for making sure each bentonite mining project is a success. Software can be a great asset to companies in the bentonite mining industry when bidding for jobs. These kinds of programs are designed to increase accuracy and efficiency, allowing companies to make sure they have the right products for the job at the right quantity. Moreover, they are able to produce a printed report for job submission. Furthermore, engineers can take advantage of such programs in order to help them with project specifications. In bentonite mining, layers range from 35,000 to 40,000 and plays an important role in achieving a successful merger of the various elements. It is critical to mix the layers well, so that the bentonite can effectively expand and absorb liquids. Good mixing ensures maximum swelling of the platelets, which gives the bentonite its excellent liquid absorption capacity. Bentonite mining involves layers that range between 35,000 and 40,000. It is important to mix these layers thoroughly in order to achieve a successful blending of the various components. Proper mixing ensures that the bentonite can expand and absorb liquids more effectively. 
It also ensures optimum swelling of the platelets, which gives the bentonite its desirable liquid absorption properties. Our presentation focuses on a project to drill 500 feet into swelling clay. We are using a range of techniques, including selecting the right drilling fluid, grouts, sealants, polymers, and additives. It has been determined that there is no need to recycle the fluid for this project, and that the total volume of drilling fluid required is zero gallons. The pump time for each drill stem is also zero minutes. We believe that our chosen materials and techniques will enable us to complete the project effectively and efficiently. For this project, soda ash should be used at a rate of 0.25 to 0.50 pounds per 100 gallons of freshwater, with a total of 0 to 0 pounds needed and a total of 1 to 150 pounds bags needed. Clay cutter should be used at a rate of 14 OZS per 100 gallons of drilling fluid, with a total of 0 OZS needed and a total of 1 5 gallon pails needed. Additionally, Drill Tur Gem should be used at a rate of 2.0 to 3.0 quarts per 100 gallons of drilling fluid, with a total of 0 to 0 quarts needed and a total of 1 to 1 5 gallon pails needed. The mixing order for the drilling fluid products should be soda ash when filling water, hydrol EZ after drilling fluid has completely yielded, and clay cutter after polymer has been fully blended into the system. Identifying the soil composition is critical when beginning a bore. For coarse soils such as sand, gravel, cobble and rock, a bentonite or bentonite polymer system is the best choice for wall reinforcement. The same goes for fine-grained soils such as clay and silts, where a polymer or bentonite polymer system should be used for heavy-duty lubrication and wall reinforcement. It is therefore important to accurately identify the soil composition and then choose the most suitable system for that type of soil. Soil identification is important in order to understand the content and qualities of a particular soil. Reactive soils typically comprise of tiny granules such as clay, silt, and shale. These soils retain moisture and are highly deformable. Non-reactive soils are mainly composed of large particles like sand, gravel, pebbles, and rock. These soils are not able to store moisture and don't display much, if any, plasticity. Matching the right drilling fluid to the type of soil is crucial for the success of a bore drilling project. Bentonite is commonly used as the base for drilling fluids, and polymers and additives can then be added to modify its properties. Paying attention to the type of drilling fluid used will ensure the bore drilling project is completed efficiently and effectively. Polymer additives have been used in drilling fluids since the late 1930s. They are tailored to the particular drilling situation and come in three types. Synthetic, modified natural, and natural polymers. Our company has created Hydrol EZ and Super Gel X drilling fluids with additives to enhance the bentonite layers used in our mining operations. These fluids give us greater drilling potential allowing us to work with layers up to 40,000 feet deep without compromising mixing quality. Synthetic polymers is a material that can be manufactured in both liquid and powdered forms, offering customization to fit any specific function. It can be used as viscosifiers, clay and shale inhibitors, lubricants, borehole stabilizers, and is very shear sensitive. It is particularly useful when dealing with reactive soils as it helps reproduce and maintain the conditions needed for a successful mining activity. AccuVis and InstaVis Plus are liquid polymers that increase viscosity of clay and shale and restrain hydration of these soils. Furthermore, InstaVis Dry is a dry polymer that stabilizes boreholes and coats clay and shale surfaces. All these products have been utilized in our bentonite mining operations to create materials with an even mixture of layers in the range of 35000-4000 for an effective blending result. Clay is a material composed of tiny platelets that, when mixed with water, absorb large quantities of it and swell up to 20 times their original volume. To prevent sticking and swelling of the particles caused by hydration, a mixture of polymer and water can be used to coat the clay particles, thus delaying the process. This optimizes the mixing process and prevents any potential sticking or swelling of the soil. 
The clay cutter is an effective and reliable additive for drilling fluid systems to reduce clay sticking and swelling. It is a non-hazardous, concentrated proprietary blend that is easy to use with either polymer or hydrol EZ drilling fluid systems. This additive is especially useful for reactive clay soils, as it prevents clay cuttings from attaching to drilling tools while also reducing rotation and pullback pressures for better operation. Additionally, it can be used in antifreeze tanks for spot treatment. Enhance your drilling fluid system with the clay cutter. Clay cutter is an invention made to disintegrate granular bentonite or other reactive soils. Mixed with water, it can turn the soils into a more consistent and unimpeded condition, as opposed to encapsulating them. This improved flowability accelerates the stirring process and significantly upgrades the efficiency of the extraction process. Employing clay cutter can make the extraction process faster and more profitable. The modified natural polymer is suitable for coarse non-reactive soils. Rel pack and super pack, comprising of dry and liquid cellulose polymers, can provide maximum borehole stability when used in combination with hydrolase systems. These systems are designed to reduce fluid loss and ensure stability, thus making them an optimal choice for difficult holes. HYDRAULEZ fluid combined with REL pack can reduce fluid loss by improving the properties of the fluid, such as higher viscosity. This modified bentonite contains 35000-4000 layers and provides for better mixing. The resulting cost savings for the company are significant, as the amount of water lost during the production process is reduced. Our company specializes in bentonite mining and the production of a natural, biodegradable polymer. Suspend IT is recommended for drilling operations involving coarse sands and gravel, as the polymer is specially designed for high-density drilling fluid. It provides excellent mixing capability and prevents clumped layers from forming guaranteeing up to 35000-4000 layers and ensuring excellent mixing results. The optimal mix for bentonite is achieved by alternating layers of sand and reactive clay. Sand acts as a buffer between the layers of clay which prevents the clay from clumping together. When the layers of sand and clay are precisely layered they can create a bentonite mix that has up to 35000-4000 layers. This creates a strong bond that gives bentonite its superior strength and helps ensure good mixing properties. Mining bentonite presents a challenge due to it usually being located in layers between 35,000 to 40,000 feet beneath the Earth's surface. To produce high-grade bentonite, it is essential that the different layers are mixed evenly. Thus, proper mixing is key to successful mining. To accomplish the desired mix and consistency, engineers must create customized solutions for each project. The slide is talking about HDD, Horizontal Directional Drilling, Mixing Chart, and you must create a speech that explains its contents. This slide presents a chart that outlines the best mixing conditions for HDD, Horizontal Directional Drilling, depending on the type of layer. For sands, the ideal rate is 25 to 30 pounds per 100 gallons. For sand and gravel, this rate is 30 to 35 pounds per 1 to 2 quarts. For clays, the ideal rate is 10 to 15 pounds per 0.5 to 1 quart. And for unknown products, the rate is 25 to 35 pounds per 1 pound. If the conditions are difficult, such as when dealing with gravel and cobble, the rate should be 25 to 35 pounds per 0.5 to 1 quart or 1 to 2 pounds. For clays that swell and sticky clays, the rate should be between 45 to 50 pounds, 50 to 55 pounds, or 35 to 40 pounds depending on the situation. Adjustments for makeup water, low pH, and existing slurry should be set. To adjust the pH between 8 to 10, 0.25 to 0.5 pounds of soda ash should be added. Additionally, adding drill turge and Insta Vis Plus to existing slurry is necessary. To summarize, this slide provides detailed guidelines for the best mixing conditions for HDD depending on the type of layer. Pilot hole drilling is essential for successful bentonite mining. 
utilize drilling fluids and additives while drilling a pilot hole in both directions to ensure a clear bore path and steady flow, as well as preventing oversteering. Likewise, back reaming should be accompanied with the use of fluids and additives for achieving optimal outcomes from the mining process. In the bore path, it is important to avoid creating bottlenecks and minimize bit changes. To help with this, rotate the bit through sections where push steering corrections were performed to maintain annular spacing. This ensures that the bore path is kept uniformly open while drilling and that the optimal contact between the bentonite layers is maintained. This helps to achieve a good mix of bentonite layers between 35,000 and 40,000. When drilling boreholes, the soil type should be taken into consideration to ensure the right drill bits and reamers are chosen. Different types of drill bits and reamers can be used, such as duckbill, roller cone, geohead, barrel, packer, spiral, fluted, winged, open and roller cone, hole opener. Matching the right equipment to the soil type is essential for a successful borehole as there is no one-size-fits-all solution, and the drill fluid must be tailored to the job and soil type. Choosing the right bit for drilling a pilot hole is essential for successful construction. It is important to pick a bit suitable for the material, which is able to penetrate the rock to the desired depth without damaging the bit or producing a lot of dust. A good drill bit should have between 35,000 and 40,000 layers for strength and stability. Additionally, it should create good mixing in the hole, which will increase the effectiveness of the pilot hole. When mining bentonite, it is essential to use the right reamer for efficient and successful operations. Consider the type of soil and product line diameter when selecting a reamer for a bore. The reamer should be at least one and a half times the diameter of the product line to prevent getting stuck or experiencing frack outs. Additionally, make sure the reamer does not constrict the pump's capacity or annular flow. Selecting the right reamer will help ensure the best results with bentonite. Discussing the use of spiral or fluted reamers, it should be noted that they are versatile and can be used in sand, silty soils, and in rocks and cobbles. However, they should be avoided in clay. A spiral reamer is highly recommended for mixing clay materials with 35000-4000 layers. It provides uniform mixing and produces the desired characteristics of the material, which is essential for a successful outcome. A winged or open reamer is a tool specifically designed for drilling in reactive soil conditions, such as clays. Its small surface area makes it resistant to clay sticking and blocking annular flow. Its chopping action is also useful when drilling in these types of soils. The barrel reamer or packer is a device designed for use in uniform soils and loose sands, and is useful for high viscosity materials to maintain borehole stability. Particularly, it can provide a strong hold when tied to a boat, making it an essential piece of equipment for those in the mining industry. Open type back reamers can be used to improve drilling in bentonite deposits of 35000-4000 layers and manage frack outs and bulging pavement. This is done by incorporating proper additives in the drilling fluid and employing good drilling techniques to maintain an annular space between the drill pipe and the formation. The back reamers assist in reducing clay balling and provide a chopping, mixing action while also allowing for fluid to flow to the exit side. This ensures efficient and effective drilling with good mixing. In order to prevent frack outs, it is essential to employ a drilling fluid that is tailored for the particular formation. The mixture should contain the correct amount of clay and fluid additives to prevent accumulation of solids and consistently keep up an ideal viscosity. Additionally, the drilling fluid should consist of 35000-4000 layers, as a greater amount of layers allows a more effective combination with the formation, hence avoiding the development of frack outs. Volume and pressure in even small doses can be destructive. What we eat has a major impact on our health and lifestyle. Eating nutritious meals can truly make a positive difference to our overall well-being. 
In order to avoid costly repair bills, preventive maintenance is key. Investing in regular inspections is the best way to identify issues and address them before they become bigger problems. Additionally, regular maintenance and inspection can help prolong the life of your equipment and potentially prevent the need for expensive repairs. Knowing the size of the hole and the type of soil you are drilling through are the two main factors that will help you determine the correct volume for a successful bore. Calculate the necessary drilling fluid volumes accordingly and factor in the time needed to backream. Additionally, make sure your pump capacity can handle backreaming. Keep these five steps in mind to ensure a successful bore. The key to a successful HDD installation is ensuring the hole you're boring is wide enough for your product line. You need to plan ahead and be sure that the drill hole diameter is at least one and a half times the diameter of your product line. This ensures proper mixing between the bentonite layers and prevents clogging and or product line damage. We are discussing how to calculate the drilling fluid volumes for different soil types at this meeting. To begin, we need to calculate the volume of the hole using the formula diameter squared divided by 24.52. As an example, an 8-inch backream and 200 foot bore would result in 2.61 gallons per foot. For a sand, this would be 2 to 3 times the volume of the hole, and for a clay this would be 3 to 5 times the volume of the hole. It is essential to know how to correctly calculate the drilling fluid volumes when mining bentonite, as it can contain up to 40,000 layers. By using the pump capacity, the volume of drilling fluid can be calculated in order to estimate the bore time. To demonstrate, for a 200 feet, bore with 8-inch hole and sandy soils, a 20 GPM pump should take between 2.5 and 3 minutes per 10 feet. Rod, a 30 GPM pump should take between 1.5 and 2 minutes and a 40 GPM pump should take between 1 and 1.5 minutes. This predicts the reaming time to be between 25 and 60 minutes, allowing for a more accurate drilling plan. The pumped volume requirements for HDD jobs vary depending on the size of the hole and the type of soil. For coarse soils, such as sands, the volume needed is 2 to 3 times the volume of the hole. For fine soils, such as clays, the volume is 3 to 5 times the volume of the hole. When dealing with bulk bentonite, measures of 35,000 to 40,000 layers are recommended to ensure good mixing. When it comes to bentonite mining, successful extraction requires effective mixing. Utilizing the correct combination of materials and technology, it is possible to achieve a layer that contains between 35,000 and 40,000 layers. To maximize production, the exit flow should be monitored for best results. Accurately identifying the soil conditions of your drilling site is the first step towards a successful borehole. The next step involves selecting the right drilling fluids and drills, bits, and reamers suitable for the borehole. It is also important to plan the volume of the borehole. Finally, make sure you have a successful borehole with these five steps in mind. Considering the use of drilling fluids for successful drilling projects is key to preventing trouble and increasing the chances of success. The Setco website offers plenty of details on drilling fluid properties, as well as examining proper use in different applications. Utilizing the HDD estimator found on the Setco website can help you to determine the best and safest drilling fluid for your project. When planning a drilling operation, it is important to select a specialized drilling fluid to perform cooling, lubrication, pressure control, fluid loss control, circulation and frack outs, hole opening, hole cleaning and torque reduction in sticky soil. Factors to consider in the selection process include density, hydrostatic head, sand content, fluid loss, gel strength and viscosity. A variety of products, including InstaVis Plus, Super Pack XTRALOW, Rel Pack Extra Low, Super Gel X, Super Pack, Rel Pack, Hydrol EZ, Clay Cutter, Clay Cutter Dry, ProShot, AccuVis, InstaVis Dry, Drill Turge and Suspend It, can be used to create an optimal drilling